What are you? This is, um, it's that plastic that looks like wood and it would be $3. Uh, it's kind of interesting. I kind of like it. Why do I like it? I kind of want it. in Henderson, Nevada, and just dropped off Rachel at her at her, her friends at her dad's house, and um, I'm hitting the Goodwill that I wouldn't normally drive to unless I was already on this part of town because it's way away from where I live. But I have found some really good things inside this Goodwill, including American Brilliant Glass. So I'm excited to get inside and see what I can find. And I only have one hour until they close, so I gotta make it quick. I got a power shop, I gotta go with my gut. No time to look stuff up. So let's go in and see what we can find. All right. This one looks good to me. Oh, and it's purple. All right, I already grabbed a couple of things off of a cart that they had out. Which I will show you in a moment. But first, we have to look at the dolphins. Now, tomorrow is their red tag sale. So I'm sure there's a lot of stuff out here red tagged, and they're really hoping it sells at that red tag price at half price. But I'm not one for sales, and this is really, really nice. And I'm going to pick this up at the full price. And I just spotted this really nice quality, I guess it's supposed to be an ashtray. That's a lot of slots for an ashtray. So it might just be decorative that way. There's something about this glass that really screams quality. It is imperial glass. Okay, so that explains it, that thick, heavy kind of vintage glass and it's got a duck on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick this up, even though it's $5.99, a little more than I'd like to pay, but it's a nice quality piece. All right, we'll just kind of scan through here, see what else is in here. That's acrylic. Kind of interesting. Got these little vases here. I'm not really seeing anything else that's screaming at me. Ooh, so maybe the bird, maybe the bird feeder. Actually, it's not, it's a, it's for a plant, huh? Is that for a plant or for birds? With the rope. You know what? I just don't want to do glass that can break. So we'll pass on that. All right, I spotted this guy. He looks, well, yeah, I think he looks like a little French bulldog. Um, it's $2.99, he's a little planter. He's contemporary, garden ease. Don't know, it's, it's a dog, it's a breed thing. And uh, these sell really well, so we're gonna pick that up. Then I spotted this little girl here. She's 99 cents. She is marked Germany. And she's just sweet as can be, so we're gonna get her. Spotted these two wooden sculptures. This one's $2.99. Looks like he's listening to the little boy's back. And then well, that one's listening to his back too. Now, this one actually has some writing on it that looks to be in German. So, I'm going to pay the $2.99 each and figure out what those are. Right behind those was an elephant. I'm trying to figure out his little... I don't even know. I think he's... I think he's stone carved. Oh, he's got something on the bottom here. Artisanica... Blah, 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 blah. I don't know what that says. I'll have to look closer. Made in Spain, though. So, we're gonna pay the $5.99 and get the stone elephant. Okay, looks like we are on a roll already. Who is this girl? Oh, she does not have anything on the bottom. All right, let's get to this little angel girl here then. She's got a bird. She's definitely vintage. Even though she's like a hobbyist piece, she's definitely vintage. 
And I do want to do my Christmas in July sale here pretty soon. So we're going to pay $4.99 for this little girl. All right, they were just announcing over the loudspeaker how it's going to be red tags, 50% off tomorrow. Chris Madden for home collection. Nice, but heavy. Oh, and lots of creepy dolls. Let's see if there's any good dolls. No creepy dolls. We want good dolls. I don't see any good dolls. So we'll just look down here on these bottom shelves as long as I'm down there. That looks like it was a... Well, yeah, that was a that was like a bird feeder. It's missing its bottom. Oh, here's another little porcelain piece. It's got Dresden lace. Look at that. And you almost always find the Dresden lace has got damage. Let's see. Was it purple? Wasn't it purple? That's half off. I think it was purple that's half off. So it would only be $2.50. So I'm going to verify that. If it's $2.50, I'm going to pick this up. I found this guy. You know, I liked him. Until I figured out he doesn't have eyes. He needs eyes to be more appealing, so I don't think I'm going to get him because he doesn't have eyes. I know. It's just how I am today. Somebody else will get him and love him, I'm sure. But I am going to look at these horses. They are hobbyist pieces. They don't have enough weight to really be an effective bookend. What are these? Okay. These are interesting. They feel like plastic. Ooh, I just don't know. They want $10, but it's for the pair, so that's not too bad. And I think like the dust and the fuzz would clean up. There is a name on there. What does that say? It does say Hong Kong. I don't know. You know, this is the kind of stuff that I just get torn on, but these are pretty beat up. I think I'm going to leave them behind. Okay, something I really hate when they're getting ready for a red tag sale is that they start putting red tags on everything. Ugh. Because that means it doesn't have any other discounts, you know, it's just only discounted if it's red tag. It kind of drives me crazy. I know these, <laughs> I know you're seeing them. I know you're seeing the color. They're beautiful. They are cased glass and they are $10 each, but they are not, you know, they're, they're something I would have to sell locally. Too big to ship. And uh, they're just, they're just not all that. All right, they're pretty. They're just not all that. Oh, let's see what's down here. Ooh, that is a big chalkware statue for 20 and then there's, you know how I like my fake veggies. It's $3.99 for all of those. You know what? Oh, I got so many to list already, but I don't find this kind all the time. And these are those like paper mache kind of vintage ones for $3.99. I'm going to get them. All right. These are really cute, but you know, it's not really something super special. And I'm trying to stick with super special. I mean, he's cute too, but I'm sorry all you owl lovers, he's just not super special. I really liked this Peter Rabbit little watering can, but he's, he's definitely been outside. His color is all worn off. So we're going to leave him too. See what else we can find on the shelves. But I don't see much on this one. All right, we are in the vases. Let's see if we can find anything noteworthy in here. That's a blue, but look, it was only $2.99. Oh, let's see. What is that back? There. You look interesting. You are pottery. 
You are not that old, and I don't even think you sit nicely. Yeah, you're wobbly. All right. I uh, don't see anything on that one. Let's see what we can find on this one. We're getting two lots of the clear glass. Ooh. Now, I passed one of these up at Dog Junkies in here. There's another one. Oh, they went $12.99, and it did come from Ross. I want to pass on it. It was worth looking at again, though. Oops, what's you back here? I like the filigree antique collections. It's a Gottinger. Hmm. For $1.99. I like the look of that. I'm going to grab that. Okie dokie. Let's see anything calling to me from the clear. Nope. Not today. Don't see. Well, what is this? It's kind of an interesting. It's really lightweight. When I put my hands on it, I, you know, if this had been like a heavier, thicker glass, I would have leaned more toward it being EAPG and probably picked it up. But when I pick it up, it's just super light for the size. And that tells me it is not the old piece that I thought it was. All right, I just spotted this in the art and I'm kind of loving it. I love the colors and I love, <laughs> hate when that happens. I love, I just love it. I love it. It's a sign by M. Knudsen Hill. I think I am going to get this. It is $20 and it is now going to be mine. And then I just pulled out this one here. Different artist. DR, I cannot. Delong, I don't know. This one's, this one's really big. And it is, it's $25. Oh, it's half price. This one's only $12.50. All right, I'm gonna get that one too. Okay, I just also pulled out this one here. Um, this is an uh, original oil. W. Steele is the artist. It is $7.99. And then let me show you. <laughs> What's on the bottom down here? I got this Egyptian needle, like it's like it's like a plaster. This is really super cool. Okay, I don't know anything about stamps, but this is $4.99, and when I opened it up, it's the hundredth anniversary of the Statue of Liberty commemorative. Um, this is 1985, this first day issue, and then it's got all of these stamps over here dating back to 1940. Hmm, that seems like a really good $5 purchase. I'm going to grab it. All right, let us hit the dishes aisle, but I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time here because I have very little time left to find what I'm going to find. So we're skimming, we're skimming. Nothing's calling me. I mean, this is a really cute set. It's Old Ivory by Syracuse, China. I do, I do like it. Six dollars though, that doesn't, that doesn't leave a whole lot of room. So I'm gonna pass, I'm gonna pass on it. And we are gonna move on to another section. They display their coffee mugs over here on an end cap, which I like. Here is another Peanuts. So since I just picked up the Snoopy one, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up Charlie Brown. And then I do like, I like the owl. Oh, it's a Ray Dunn for 99 cents. Ha ha ha, we're gonna grab you too. Right now we're on the, uh, oh, I just, all I see up here is Star Wars. It is a set of Star Wars mugs. What are you priced at? You are priced at $6.99 for two Star Wars mugs. Hmm. What's the year on those? I don't see one. I'm going to pass on them. I'll let somebody else have those. I hate to say it. I might get, I might get some hate comments, but I'm not a big Star Wars fan. 
I do like the little Japan mug. I just wish there was two of them. I mean, I saw Star Wars. I've seen Star Wars. I'm just, I'm just not a huge Star Wars person. What can I say? That's kind of a, ooh, Cabo San Lucas. Oh, too bad. I already see the chips on this, but he's very cute. Okay, I see Sango. Are you getting me right now? All right, I don't see any other mugs that we need to pick up on that section. Let's go over here. We've got a Washington, D.C. Starbucks for $3.99 is that, oh, it's chipped. Well, it's bad if it's chipped. Not too bad if it wasn't chipped. This looks Thompson Pottery. Ooh, these almost have like a Mary Engelbright look to them. There's two, watch this, let me get the other one. This one, they didn't actually cover up the birdhouse. These are really adorable and they are only 50 cents each. So I'm picking those up. All right, and I forgot to show you what I picked up when I first came in, and now I've kind of buried them down here, but I got this jug, this crock jug here, and I got another crock here. Those are both $10 each. I just found another one of the bird mugs, which is also gonna be only 50 cents. So now I have three. We're gonna look for some more. All right, now I'm into the those are, well, you know what? If they're not, yeah, they're marked Arca Rock. I was gonna say, if they're not marked Arca Rock, they're Depression. Okay, thank you. I'm going for the black based glasses here, which are kind of cool, but there's only three of them. I would prefer there be four of them. Oh, it's got little flowers on them. Oh, they're only 50 cents too. I like half price. Hmm. I think I'm gonna pass. Okay, I don't see anything else calling me here. There's some cool Jack Daniels glass, but there's only one. Again, you want, oh wait, oh wait, before I say it. <laughs> So you want at least two, and look, there we go. How much are they? Oh, there it is. They are only a dollar each. So I will pick up the Jack Daniels glasses for a dollar each. Okie dokie, let's see if there's anything else. Tasty morsels in the glass. And it says Wolfgang Puck. What's in the Wolfgang Puck? Wolfgang Puck wine glasses, but they're not, like how would you know those are Wolfgang Puck unless they were in the box, because they are, they're not marked anywhere. So once you take them out of the box, those are just, those are just wine glasses. There is nothing special about them. So, sorry Wolfgang, but you gotta mark your glasses. Just saying. Anything special down here? You're kind of interesting. But again, only one. Oh, holy moly, look what I just found. I'm making a run on the Grey Goose Martini glasses. I now have four to add. Well, I have four total. I have two more to add to my collection for $2.99 each. And I just found one more. So now I have a dilemma because now I have five, which means I have to find one more. So I have six. This really nice lady just brought me this really adorable salt and pepper shaker for 99 cents. It's this little chef guy. I have to have him. And I turn around behind me and I see the cat on the chair, but they want five bucks for those. So I'm gonna leave that one, but I am gonna look at this vintage glass butter dish for $1.99 and pick that up. My goodness, they've got so much stuff on the shelves. See why they need to have a sale. This is an older piece, it feels like. Um, it's got a Greek key pattern, so it would be pretty easy to 
figure out who done it. There's something a little bit off about the feel of it to me, but it's $1.99 and I want to figure out more about it, so I'm going to grab this. Let's see what we got on the shelf here. Okay, nothing's jumping at me. Nothing's jumping at me on these shelves. Let's look down here. I like the tidbit tray, but I don't like shipping tidbit trays, so. And this is not an old one, it's 222 fifth. So, that's cute. Sandland wear from England. It's $2.99 though. Ugh. I don't want to pay that much for it. I'm a little bit cheap today. So let's look and see who done this. Oh, you're chipped. I don't know who done it, but that's got a big chip. It's food. Let's see what we got over here. Oh, what are you? Not you. Although I like you. Um, I was looking at this. It's kind of different. Got a neat look to it. Uh, universal. Gosh. Can't even read what that says. Universal. Something. It's $4.99 kind of digging that for $4.99. Alright, let's see. My cart's getting pretty full, but we're almost to the end because they're going to call Time's Up here pretty soon. So I want to get over there and see what I can find. Uh, and as usual, here's all the, the wax warmers missing their tops, except for one. No tops. And this one's got a cute giraffe print, so kind of bummed that that one's missing. Alright, let's look through the metals real quick. See if anything really jumps at me. These are really cute. Tea and coffee. $2.99 each. $1.99 for that one. You know what? I really like that set. I'm gonna pick those up. All right. They are almost ready to close and they just eyeballed my big old cart full of stuff and they want me to wrap it up. So I need to wrap it up. These are really cute tins. I really like these. Uh, I don't need them though. I don't need them. I'm going to leave them. But I'm going to look at this one because that's a day her. Yes. No, yes it is. But it's $3.99. Darn it. That's cute. That's sweet. Okay, I'm feeling a little pressured, feeling a little rushed, feeling like I need to get finished up here really, really quickly now, and hoping that I got enough video. <laughs> That's always something, too. That's a nice piece of silver plate. It's got a very, very nice design to it with the grapes and the on the pedestal. It doesn't have a name on it though. So because of that, I'm going to leave it, but that one kind of drew me in. It drew me in and that's kind of how I make my decisions. All right. I am in my last little section, which is like the Christmas stuff. And we're just going to pop through here. Oh, and then we got to get onto the, the wood stuff. This caught my eye back here, but I think it's just it's just a box. It's nothing exciting. So let's look through the woods real quick. Oh, they are pretty, pretty stuffed full. What are you? This is, um, it's that plastic that looks like wood and it would be $3. Uh, it's kind of interesting. I kind of like it. Why do I like it? I kind of want it. All right, I'm gonna get it for $3. All right, we need to go check out so that they don't get really, really mad at me for keeping them over. Oh, look, it's a gavel I could use for my auctions. I don't see anything else. 
super exciting. I'm a looking though. I'm a looking though. Um, this is another one of those indigenous artists. Um, I always forget his name. Is it Greg Wilson? Something like that. They want six bucks for this box, so that's a little that's a little too much to pay for it, but I usually do pick those up when I find them. And then we've got some Australian surfboards. Now there's two of them for five dollars. Those are kind of cool. I think I will pick those up. Okay, since there's a line and I wouldn't be up at the front anyway, I'm coming back here and just peeking through the blankets and the comforters real quick just to make sure there's nothing that's like stand out and really needs attention. It's kind of kind of a nice baby blanket there. Um not seeing anything. Not seeing anything. Okay, that's our take. We're gonna get it and go. We don't want to make them mad by taking our time checking out. Oh I was gonna let somebody go ahead of me and they were not ready so here we go. Let's go check out. Okay, had that painting been even like one to two inches wider, I'm not sure we would have gotten it in here, but the juice box pulls through and uh, we're going to be able to get it home.
was fun. I, you know, I don't know why I keep ending up with this big giant artwork, but I just can't leave it behind. I love it so much. Um, I can't wait to kind of look in and see who done those big pieces because they're, they're pretty cool and they are vintage. Oh, I got so much cool stuff again. Another good trip to Goodwill. Now, I really, really need to get this stuff listed that I bought to sell on eBay. And again, that's it. Don't wait for me to put it on eBay. If there's something you saw that you can't live without, you've seen the recap, you've seen the values, those values are what I could get if I listed it on eBay. You are welcome to make me an offer. I love offers. Believe me, I would rather not go through all the work to put it on eBay. So I can wheel and deal a little bit better if you just send me an email at thenichelady at gmail.com and include either the the video name and the timestamp you saw the item or a screenshot so that I can remember which item it was because I get so many items sometimes they all run together and uh, I'm happy to sell stuff that I find do it every day okay um, it's kind of sad I still see people showing up and this store is closed so uh, they sold me the Egyptian plaque thing for $25 it's a little more than I wanted to pay, but I'm pretty sure I can get a good price for that down at the booth. And you've seen the recap, so you know the price that I'm going to put on it. And so now I'm going to drive home and put my feet up and relax, play with my doggies, and uh, you go be profitable and make it fun. And we'll see you on the next one.